Kill. Kill. <sighs> oh. Well then. Let's never question how the fuck I survived that. Uh, what the? But why the fuck is there a dirigible in my goddamn landscape? I didn't agree to this. Why the hell is it getting darker? It's almost as if that's foreshadowing for the immediate tone I'm about to set by bashing in the skull of whoever the fuck pal did that into my land. Although I must say, I don't really have any true clue of how the holy fuck I'm gonna get up there. Who on uh Oh, it's the Brotherhood of Steel. Fantastic. Huh. They're not hostile to me. I have every incentive killing them, but they have no idea that I do. And on top of that, they actually seem to feel safe around me. You're gonna regret this. There are far too many people here with far too many perspectives for me to be able to get away with this. I need the planet to align so I can get away with killing one of you motherfuckers. And may they never question how he ended up halfway through the floor. I just hope they never even question how the hell he ended up dead, otherwise their all eyes are gonna be on me. You know, I've suddenly realized that the majority of these individuals are actually female. I'm not a sexist, but I'm just saying maybe the moniker for this little faction isn't the best. It really seems more like the Sisterhood of Steel. That's it. You fortify the wall so you can keep the enemies out without realizing that there's been one inside the entire time. Um, excuse me, senior scribe? Do you see nothing wrong with this? I mean, best case scenario, he's sleeping on the job and you should wake him and reprimand him. No? Alright. And there appears to be a Deathclaw Jewel! There's... <laughs> they're honest to god, they're just fighting. <laughs> Why are the Deathclaws fighting? What is his dominance for the alpha male thing? He's just turned around. Actually, no, the one who... Oh, he's almost dead, that'll explain it. Yeah. That was just easy pickings at that point. Why the fuck did he gib? Why did he bl... Oh, there's, there's a problem with you. <laughs> you know... <laughs> I do get the feeling that, uh, I'm gonna get some bad karma for that one. I literally just walked into a Deathclaw duel, picked up the pieces, and then ran the fuck away from the one who actually won. I'm what they call in Italy, a pizza shit. Goddamn dirty brotherhood, coming to my commonwealth. Who the fuck invited you? Well, I can safely say that wasn't meant to happen. Including the part where they got up. Are you seriously just walking back to your post? Not even questioning how you just got hit in the back of the head and then rocketed toward the fucking... <sighs> I think his words were, please sir, can I have some more? <laughs> and somehow still... Unaware that I'm trying to kill them. This is fucking sad. <laughs> your armor just broke. Your armor just... <laughs> I hit that person a collective four or five times. Yes, I'm too stupid to count. I... You are a miracle. You're an aspirant, are you? That is also very close to a certain drug you would take for a pain over the head. Allow me to remedy that situation where you don't have one already. Now here's the million dollar question. How on earth do I get up to that dirigible? Can I get on this? I believe I can. You're just gonna let me on there? You don't even know what you're allowing me to do, do you? You know what? <laughs> I think I'm gonna kill the rest of you goddamn motherfuckers. I'm gonna commandeer one of your power armor suits, and I'm gonna give your elder a visit. I'm actually on the Bridwin. I actually got aboard their precious dirigible. The I literally just walked up to the airport, so-called stealthily killed nearly all of them. And then, uh, then I just flew one of their ships up here and nobody even batted an eyelid. This is a thing I'm able to do. And the leaders just stood there right next to the goddamn ledge.
See you later, Elder Maxon. <laughs> oh, I doubt he's alive at all. I doubt anybody could survive that. Um... Maxon, baby? I think he landed in the- oh! I fucking see him! How did you survive, Maxon? Maxon, how did you survive? You may have been able to survive that fall, but I'll make sure that this... Uh, this death in this little pond of yours will be your fall from grace. Well, Maxon, sure is a shame about your damn look. Oh, and by the way, that coat's now mine. You know, I think I might have bitten off a little bit more than I can chew. You know, with God knows how many vertebrates and me being in the direct vicinity of their HQ, I really think this was a bad idea, but I've never been one to stray away from a bad idea. So, let's, let's, let's just go ahead and uh, try and kill that there pilot. Ah! Good night, sweet prince. Oh, don't come toward me. Don't come toward me for the love of all things holy. Now, for whatever reason, the sole survivors of this area are all holed up in this one room. And I think I've got a new breach and clear tactic that might just raise a few eyebrows. As well as the death toll, the radiation meter, and just generally the survivability rate. Oh no, though, that, that one would go down, wouldn't it? Oh my god, there's one- one of them's alive! And I think he's missing his legs. So after breaching clearing, after killing everybody in a newsroom, we have this headline. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I mean, I know what it looks like, but I don't know what that is. I'm just grateful it ended up being <laughs> right where it is. Oh, Jesus. Looks like someone's falling out of their pants. Do they really think I'm not going to shoot them just because I'm miles away? Do you really think that I will not find a way to fuck you up and over? It's gotta be traumatizing for you. Being out in the wild, not knowing where your enemy is, just firing wildly into the mist. That's really gotta be messing with your head, something fierce, hasn't it, Knight? Speaking of Knight... Good night. Piece of shit. Well, now that I've officially gone ahead and made a, an enemy for life in the Brotherhood, I should probably get the fuck away from this goddamn dirigible, shouldn't I? Oh, Should I perhaps go on to said dirigible and kill every motherfucker inside it? What did you think was gonna happen there, bitch? What did you think was gonna happen? Oh dear. You can't box with God and expect to actually reach the motherfucker. You are one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Credit to you for trying, though. You don't get to be remembered for your bravery. Matter of fact, you don't actually get to come out of those railings. There you go. <laughs> They'll never know who you were. You know, it's a sad state of affairs when all of this goes to hell and. There's nothing they can do about it. One man enters the Bridwin, and next thing you know, the Brotherhood of Steel is no more. I guess Brett Fuel can melt steel beams. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Okay, then. I'm going to have to require a plan B for that. I don't... I don't really think that just walking in there with a baseball bat's going to cut it. I'm gonna go and, uh, equip myself a little bit better. Yeah. I think this'll do nicely. I think... I'm gonna be a little bit better prepared for it this time. You have no armor. You have no- You have no gravity. You have no anti-armor weaponry. You have zero chance of beating me and I'm only using a baseball bat. I have killed all of you so far with nothing more than this weapon. I'm about to kill the captain of the ship. <laughs> if this thing doesn't crash when I leave, I'm going to be disappointed. Oh, hello! Why on earth would you walk in, you fucking Fruit Loops? You're completely safe out there! I wasn't even hurting you! I was just raiding your room! I get it, you've got to you've got to kill me eventually, but you could have set up a defensive perimeter, kinda of like they actually already did. Never mind. I'm just gonna go and shoot that door. <laughs> Bloody hell. Kinda of feel bad about that one. Oh, you're coming in! Get the fuck out! Jesus. This calls for a solution. Best of luck to you. Remember the part where I said, hey, I'm only using a baseball bat? That went out of the window pretty quick. Clay. Oh, there's actually someone still alive. <gasps> Paladin dance! Synth component! You fucking what? Well, actually, I have nothing against synths, really. 
Except for that one that blew me up that one time in that T-1000 scene. Except for that, you've been caught stealing, the owner is now hostile. Yes, because they were all hugs and kisses a second ago. You're a baby back bitch. Look at you. <laughs> without your armor, without your goddamn guns, you're nothing. Oh my god. Good God, he just suddenly fucking auditioned for the role of Flubber. Did you see that shit? Ah, oh, they say white man can't jump. I've been proven wrong on this day. You just got knocked the fuck out. Ingram, my dear, you may not have been an archer, but looking at that power armor suit at the bottom, you were most clearly... Legolas. And a 15-year-old joke comes out to play, and I am the worst person in the world. Hey, kid, how you doing? You getting traumatized with this? You, am I gonna Batman the fuck out of you? You're gonna grow up and br bring me down? Is, that, is, this, is this what this is? Is this the Batman prologue in uh, Commonwealth? Oh! Oh, do you wanna go? You wanna- Oh, yep, he wants to go, all right. He's going. Right after he, um... <laughs> figures out how a wall works. Stupid shit. Quite clearly with that environmental awareness? No, he was not auditioning to be Batman, he was quite clearly Daredevil. You were hiding in here! Cade! I'm sorry, the fucking limp-digged bitch in Destiny named Cade has got more balls than you and he hasn't left the tower in 20 years. <laughs> Jesus Christ, while your entire brotherhood was getting slaughtered, you were hiding in the fucking medic bay. You ballless bag of shit. All the vertebrates are gone? All the... All the knights are dead? Sounds like a job well done to me. Only thing left to do now is to return this goddamn power armor suit. Um... Excuse me. That appears to be a brotherhood ship. You don't just attack my home and expect to live, goddammit. Get out of it! Is your wardrobe bare and barren? Are you cold, chilly, and in need of an extra layer? Well then worry no more and look no further. Because today I proudly present to you my merchandise! You, you, can, you can buy it with your money, and you can put it on your face. You probably shouldn't, you put, you put it on your body, but you can do it if you want. Go click that link. Go buy them shirts. Go on. This message was brought to you by Selling Out. Because apparently dignity and self-respect do not come cheap. And with that, the better portion of the content has come to a close. If you did indeed enjoy it, please do like the video, let me know, and I shall make more of it. And as said, seeing as the better part of this is over, you may want to check out somebody else listed here. For instance, A Kind Ale War is a fantastic little channel that's amazing at what he does. He recently made a video on the I Hate Everything debacle, and it's really fucking funny and interesting and cool. He also made a video on me, if that interests you at all. Go check him out. And speaking of I Hate Everything, not the channel, but the sentiment, you should follow me on Twitter. Because there's plenty of me hating everything on there. And you can also keep up to date with videos and stuff, and I imagine that's what you want to do. And, uh, considering how this entire episode was dedicated to me eradicating the Brotherhood because fuck those guys, I guess I completely went against one of those old sayings. Because I sure as shit did not respect my elders. Um... A Brotherhood Paladin has no clue how she just got hit on the back of the head when there is somebody behind her with a baseball bat wrapped up in chains. Yes, I think you're gonna do well in the Brotherhood, dear. For honor. Yeah, not going to make it, he says. As he's already dead, how do these beings have the capacity to speak when they're knocked the fuck out? Did... Did you just... You've got to be kidding me. Did... Did you just completely no-sell the fact that I hit you in the face three times with a baseball bat with chains around it? Did... Is he not even remotely concerned for his own life? <laughs> and he's out of there! <laughs> I don't even know where he went! Oh, it's gonna need a take two, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we can use that, but I... I don't have much faith. <laughs> <sighs> the Brotherhood of Steel, ladies and gentlemen. All brawn, no brains. All you gotta do is just make him rock it off. You, you proc like ten times before. Proc once more. I mean, that's funny, because his foot's stuck up and everything, but that's not what I wanted. 
Are you seriously coming after me right now when there is an army of those guys? Do you have no priorities? I really do wish Myalurks weren't more armoured than a fucking tank. Myalurks are more armoured than those guys in power armour. <laughs> Will you just fuck off, you obnoxious piece of absolute floppy donkey dick, you piece of fucking shit. No one likes you. You've got to be kidding me, right? No nuka cola in the machine. These, these guys are Hitler. Oh, fuck a duck in the back of a goddamn milk truck. Oh, I'm in pain. I'm being shot. <laughs> Your weapon went nowhere, didn't it, Sunshine? What are you going to do about that? You've been disarmed. Oh, you're cacking your pants, aren't you, you little fucking piddlem? What are you going to do? What are you going to do when Lucy Lemania runs wild on all oh, you? Oh. You know, with all this theft I'm doing, this this gives a whole new meaning to the term Brotherhood of Steel. There's nobody on the foredeck, really? I wanted to knock somebody out into outer space. Oh, come on. That's bloody disappointing. Wait, hang on. There wasn't an alarm clock in all the ammunition bag? One of these is not like the other. Oh, I've got to kill you. That wasn't really challenging at all, but I do still feel bad about it. And considering the fact that I used nukes to kill half of them, they really should be dust in the wind, but uh, here they still are. Yep, you really are quite the mess, officer. <laughs> oh, come on. You could do fucking better than that. Cheers, Lance. Fucking hell. You might have been Armstrong, but you weren't headstrong. <laughs> Why are all my jokes coming from corpses? <laughs> it's sad, because that's true. Past few jokes have been about nothing but dead people. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, and definitely don't question how I became the general of a fort while I was in a coma for the past couple of weeks. Definitely don't question that. As a matter of fact, dear Halen, let me get you your friend. Let me bring him over here. Let, him, let, me, let me just go ahead and uh, be really inappropriate and put it like that, and then you can just fall over the fuck you like. You can make a couple in the, the limbo land of you being dead, and you can have a brotherhood of stillborn. Mmm, that's a tasteful joke. So, whatever remnants were left of the Brotherhood in the Commonwealth dived face first into a position with multiple artillery machines, various fat men, and mainly snipers. The Brotherhood of Steel may be many things, but I'm beginning to think that Smart wasn't one of them. I'm sorry. How did my power armor suit end up here? Who's playing silly boggers? <laughs>